self-love is brain love. You can be 10 or 20 pounds overweight and you're not going to be loving your brain at all. It's going to age you by 10 years, sometimes more. So just looking after your weight is something that's going to have to be uh, dealt with through mindfulness, through consciousness, through awareness. And we're incredibly good at personal transformation. When we know why to do it, we can bear anyhow, uh, as Friedrich Nietzsche used to say. So all we need is a process, and we call this process the paradigm shift, literally something you can see on a brain scan, something that people can no longer deny anymore. So the power really is in our hands. All we need is the process to recreate the person. All we need is to understand the process, the roadmap, to unblock those highways and recreate whenever we want to, whenever we're ready, at 40, 50, 60, wherever it's going to be, to recreate our personal realities through removing the masks of codependence, anxiety, through perfectionism and all the things and traits that we've developed to keep us safe. When we unmask ourselves, we're set free. We become unlimited, unbounded, and really, the sky is the limit. Self-love is brain love. And that's where we start. The paradigm process is a program that we use and it's a 10 step program. And it starts with letting go of control. That need to control is our need to stay the same, which results in 10 years of depression, anxiety of being lost and stuck in PTSD. We've got to understand that when we let go of control and say, all right, I've had enough. When I understand that my brain is running amok, when I become conscious, I put down control. The more I try to control the mind without the proper tools, the worse it's going to become, the faster the thoughts are going to run. So I let go on one side, which is right and left hemispheres. I let go of control and I let it be. And I start to disidentify. I am not my personality. I'm not even my environment or my personal reality. Rather, I am what is behind my thoughts. I am the observer of these thoughts. Rather, I'm the creator of my own healing. I am the one who is capable of transformation. So, you know, do not be conformed to your mind was written in the Bible and how true it is. But be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So there we go. This is nothing new. We're just seeing it on brain scans. A new mind, a transformed mind, is practiced through intention. It is when we release control, which is all based in fear. All types of fear, which is a real primary emotion. We start to take a paradigm shift over to love. Love is the most powerful emotion of all. You love your body, you love your heart, you love your brain, you're going to have a good life. When we don't love our body, hearts and brains, we need to become conscious that we're not doing it. You know, most of us are friendlier, we're kinder to strangers than we are to ourselves. Uh, we just don't know it, we're just not aware. So awareness is really key, mindfulness um, and practicing our tools. We really can create anything we want once we realize that there's a mask that we can lift and remove. We're not the story of the past. Even if I have bipolar or whatever it's going to be today, it might be something different. And I might need to look at a scan to check it out. Why not? There is no limit to healing and life transformation today. We have a pharmacy inside of us. No pharmaceutical company required that is capable of perfectly dosing, perfectly balancing, perfectly shifting us from A through to B, through time and practice. When we remove fear, the gloves are off and we become unlimited.